it makes oh me yeah that's, like, that's, that's, that's what i'm going for you know it makes uh, me feel like my, you can see my aura yes <laughs> I, I like it i'm just like i'm like i can see jordan's angelic uh jesus or and, and it makes me feel safe <laughs> when, 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 when jordan's here i feel safe <laughs> Is our hype me, Jordan, Aunt Steph? No, I'm on top, baby. That did not right, sound so natural, and I'm Steph, sorry. Steph, Anthony, <laughs> Jordan, okay, Leland. right. So going from we'll smallest to tallest. Yes, she's yeah. she's first. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> she demands being first. Yeah, I would. So we'll do I would it that like way. to be first. Uh, okay. If I, can. Right. I mean, if we did a totem, though, she would go on top. Yes. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Reasonably, with this. that would be the way to do it. I agree it. with this. Yeah. Why? Because she's the smallest. And I, and, and I would do this at the top. You would want to do the smallest on top and the biggest on the bottom. So I'm on the bottom. Do you want to be on the top, Leland? No. Oh, okay. I was like, I, mean, I can try to carry a, you're, you guys. You're a solid base. We go you know? backwards. <laughs> I will be on yeah. the bottom like this, and then it just goes <laughs> to the tallest person at the very top. You, you're a thick base, Leland. All the bathrooms say so. You, you call me a you call me a fat bitch. No, <laughs> you're just gonna be the tallest one. You're gonna be way taller on top. And Beck, Beck, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, ma'am. Um, where where does my arm cut off? Oh, right there. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I just wanted to fix it. Okay. So uh, I got, how's I it got, doing? I'm okay. Oh. I've, I've, I've been a, a, a relevant you've been, thing. You've been wonderful. You're like, how's it? I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting to say I was okay that's, that's just when we were alive. Pretty good. It's pretty good for me. Um, everyone or does everyone know about the Weird Al Yankovic biopic? Yeah. Yes. Starring Daniel Radcliffe. Yeah. Wow. Really? I did not know about this. Look, he must have yeah. done something in the audition. That blew people away, or in Weird Al said, "That's the guy." So I feel it has to, it has be. to be one of those two things. Because yeah. looking at him, no, I do not see Weird Al. Like we, I've, I've, I've seen like the photos of really? him in, in, with the it. wig and shit. Really, I don't see. So. Really? You know what Weird Al looks like? Yeah. Do you know what Daniel Radcliffe looks like? Yeah, remember he has a delicious asshole. Wasn't well, that what the card said? <laughs> yep. Right, it did. <laughs> On, um, what's that game? Nobody, nobody clip that. What's the game? <laughs> what's the game that's kind of like apples to apples? What's, what? No, just let, 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 let her flail, guys. No! Hey, what's that game? You like, fuck. Cards Against Humanity. Cards Against Humanity. There's a specific card that says, Daniel Radcliffe's delicious asshole. Like, that's an actual answer on a card. <laughs> I don't know where they got the delicious from, but someone they turned it asked. into a thing. <laughs> LORC255, delicious asshole. That's the name of this episode. <laughs> Daniel Radcliffe, Harry Potter's delicious asshole. <laughs> 253, but that's close. Whatever. Oh, I'm in the 250s. They asked, uh, they asked Malfoy. That's how they knew. <laughs> I was gonna. Oh. That's Steph's oh. custom card. I mean, <laughs> Jesus Christ, Steph, you, we're we're literally like three minutes in, and you have derailed this. To I don't know how to get back on track. We were talking about curious. Weird Al, and I said I'm I curious see to it. know how delicious Daniel Radcliffe's <laughs> asshole is. That's that's all I can think about now. Well, what's an English food that's very commonly known it's around the world? It's magically delicious. Bread. He's not Irish. Fish and chips. Oh, fish and chips. He might be a little. You a, don't a know. Cheeky Nando. But what? Nando's is what? a place in, in the UK. I was going to oh. correct you and say it's Lando, <laughs> but clearly I wouldn't. Calrissian? Know that. <laughs> not what he was talking about. <laughs> uh, 
Oh. It just it just seems so weird. It's such a weird choice of casting. Like Leland Wright, like it had to be I some kind of performance that just nailed it. It has to be. Like maybe maybe he maybe he sings it so well they're not gonna have to like dub or anything. I can see well, it. They'll be able to. Well, when they announced uh, 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 Rami Malek as as uh, um, Freddie Mercury. Freddie, Freddie Mercury. Mercury. Did you think that was like? You wanna, I thought that was random, but then he's, I thought he did a pretty good job. So searching doesn't look like him at all, but searching weird out. Oh yeah. On Google, well, well, yes. first look. Once you start scrolling, Daniel Radcliffe is in the shots as you scroll. Uh, weird out. Yeah, listeners, he's Steph is holding up her search. phone yeah. and showing yeah. us pictures of Daniel Radcliffe and Weird Al at Yankovic. Because if you Google the word Weird Al Yankovic, then. Yeah, because Daniel Radcliffe is dressed as Weird Al Yankovic. Those tags will all be there. It's not because they look alike. It's because he's doing the movie. I mean... Weird Al Radcliffe. Yeah. Ran... 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 Yankov... Cliff. I don't know. Um, or what about Taron Egerton as... 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 Uh, um, Wolverine? Oh. <laughs> no, as yes. Elton well, John. Yes to both. Yeah, okay. I hear you. Now... It, to be fair, Taron like was on purpose. He was hand picked though by Elton John. It was like I would like the pretty one to play me. You know what I mean? Well, yes, because they were both in Kingsman <laughs> yeah. too. And like, Elton John's like, I like this kid. Yeah, but he did such an amazing job. He was like, so good in it. Like oh, I forgot, God. I forgot He's how an much of a impressive singer he is. Like yeah. I had, I honestly forgotten yeah. how like during that movie I forgot how troll like Elton John is <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> oh, no. like he it erased your your old memories yeah like of he Elton looks John. like a toad a bit so it was just like oh yeah, yeah. and now when that I think Elton harsh. John I just see Taron Egerton as yeah. Elton John oh. I was gonna and I think it's gonna uh, be a like long that, long time until that you know goes away but that that movie also is like a bit Hyperbole, like it's 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 also it's, it's a supposed fantasy. To be, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. supposed to be a bit fantastical, so like that plays better. Yeah, for for him to clearly not look anything like <laughs> young Elton John. Ah, yeah. oh, that was a good movie. Uh, <laughs> even like young Taron is like still pretty fucking good looking, yeah. <laughs> and, like all the way to like drugged out like. Uh, bottom, bottom of the uh, um, rock bottom is what I'm trying to think uh, of. Yeah. No, uh, rock bottom is what I'm thinking of. The rock bottom. Uh, Dwayne that, Johnson. Uh, he, Dwayne Johnson's The Rock Bottom. When's that documentary coming out? <laughs> huh. <laughs> well, I, I, I assume... Uh, that man's just fucking attractive. That's all I'm saying. I, I assume The Rock would have to hit rock bottom before that happens, but yeah. Terry Argentine is a very good looking boy. Yes, Steph. So, on the way... Coming home from work, I heard on the radio mm -hmm. about something, and then this is, might be something we should try. Um, and then I searched it up, and it's actually number, I think it's number, number one when I look up jelly beans on Amazon. There is a Branches Late Night Taco Truck Jelly Bean Flavors. What? Mm-hmm. Okay. There I don't know. Is, I don't understand a thing you just said. So branches that makes candy, the branches you mean brand brat. Is that what it's called? Brats. Yeah, because there's no n in it. I don't read. Brats. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> so brats. She got all the other words right though. Yeah. Br brats, right? Brats. Say say drawer. Be drawer. <laughs> drawer. B R B R A C H, branches. right? Brotches, branches, branches, branches. I see where she's going. Unfortunately, yeah, yeah, yeah. Carry okay. on. Okay, so they're making a taco truck uh, jelly bean. Late night taco truck <laughs> jelly beans. There's different Brotches flavors, Lester. guys. There's margarita. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that's been done. I've had Churro. Been done, okay. but good. Ooh. Salsa? I, no, I can't think of a jelly bean that I've had that's salsa flavored. Beef yeah. taco. Mm hmm. Sounds pornographic. And horchata. Ooh. Hmm. All right. All yeah, sure. Yeah. Why not? I'll try it. Why not? So, 
Where can you get the branches jelly beans? On Amazon, there's only twenty left, and they're twelve. Thir- they're twelve dollars and thirty cents. Oh no, no, no! For a twelve ounce pack. That's too much. I feel like we should buy how, them, but then like how big is meet somewhere, and then like distribute. <laughs> oh, and see. okay, or so I'll buy in mail. Yes. Okay, is everybody, is everybody listening? All right, cool. Oh yeah, yeah, that we just meet somewhere and divvy up the bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, that's what she crazy. said. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, that, that's oh, okay, that's, okay. that's her thing. This is my thing. Okay. So, um, me and Scott have come up with something. I'm not mm-hmm. going to give too many details to it, but we'll keep it vague to what we're thinking of doing. So, we're going to do a um, a food thing here in the next couple of weeks. Hopefully, we'll get it worked out. Okay. So, what we're going to do, and I'm not telling you what the item is, but essentially, we're going to buy the items, okay. have them sent here. We're going to distribute them in little Ziploc bags with numbers. I don't even know what flavors are going to be ordered of this item. Okay. Scott's okay. going to do this. He's going to know which numbers are what. And then in chat, he's going to tell us what flavor or numbers to eat. And then we're all going to take our little Ziploc bags with those numbers oh, on it and child. try it. And try to identify what this mystery flavor is okay. to this oh, okay. specific item. I'm going to lose. Um. I, I don't know. Like, we watched a video of people eating this item, and they were very impressed by the flavors. So we went on their website. Again, not telling you at all what it is. Um, went on the website, and they have 80 to, like, 90 flavors to choose from. Um, I started yelling out stuff that I wanted to try, and he was like, look, you don't. He's like, you can yell it out, but it don't matter. I'm going to choose which five. <laughs> oh, which ones to um, try? Okay. See, I, not even I'm going to get to know which things are happening i'm just gonna give him the boxes he's gonna put the ziplocs in i'm gonna take him to the post office you know it's gonna be a whole thing um so we're gonna i want to try and get it worked out so we can do it on uh, our saint patty's day show i don't know why i just feel like that's something we should do for saint patty's day fun what is that a a couple weeks from now next week a couple weeks Hmm. um this item has nothing to do with the irish (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> anyway, I just okay, I just were like, hey, it's St. Patty's Day. Let's do this. That's fine. Um, or are we not going to do our leprechaun names again? Oh, uh, we could. Um, but I will safely say, now, this is go- this is going to be a little bit of a hard... Th- we're not going to do this for long, because this is kind of stupid. But, oh. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no. That's bad. That's real bad. That's not good. Well. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, look. Did we lose everything? Uh... No, actually, I think the podcast is still yeah, podcast is still going. Okay, it's just I am just a black screen. Okay, okay. okay. Oh wait, oh, I don't there see we go. Anything Coming back in. Right. Hey, what oh, happened? Okay. No idea. A Discord just crashed. Jordan was very oh, excited yikes. about what I'm about to tell him about this food item. <laughs> this is so good. I want to leave. <laughs> he just uh, <laughs> he's just like I'm so excited. <laughs> Fuck I this. can't be here. <laughs> it's okay. Um, just to clarify, Jordan, you're only allergic to eggs, right? That I know of. <laughs> okay, you're good. There are no eggs yeah. in this product. I just wanted to double check. Um, so I told Scott, I gave Scott like some um, categories. I was like, you know, I want sweet and savory, sweet, and savory. maybe one really bad one and one super good stuff. one where you're like, what the this is so good. Why would I have this? Um, and then whatever, you know. So I think it'll be fun because okay. we're going to open the boxes on air and be like, what is these? So it's like, I, I, it does I, like I, a good time. Yeah, I can't wait to taste these randomly flavored Things. items. Bear testicles. Yes. <laughs> they are bear testicles. We found, a, we found a site that has 80 flavors of bear of testicles. Of bear testicles. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're all the same testicle. They're just dipped in yeah. different powders. You ever wanted to know what a blueberry tastes like off a nut? Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> like, this one the company's like called sugar. Bean Dip. Anyway. I have a little confession to make, guys. Um, my brain's not here. I'm still playing Elden Ring. We can tell. <sighs> and that's all I want to do. It happens. You know. Yeah, you... you okay. You, you you left us in the in the wild west uh, on Sunday. I've yeah. put forty eight hours into that game. Good job. Forty eight hours. That's okay. The game came out on all? Friday. I've only beaten one 
of the five main bosses I'm supposed to kill. Wow. Are you having fun? It, uh, th- th- I'm, this is the greatest gaming experience I've had in a very long time. Then that's all, so that that's all that matters. No, yeah, I am actually, I know I know myself enough to know that I am actually addicted to the game. <laughs> like, that's okay. He's crossed the threshold. There's no coming that's back. Fine. So what you missed on Sunday um, is that there are the two games that we want to download. Um, that monster yes. one you were telling us about where you fight Arc. dinosaurs uh, and shit. Arc, and yeah. then that Sonic racing game. Yes. So- a team Sonic racing yeah, game. Yeah. So we want to race you guys so bad Yeah. Now. So well, we will. We'll have eight up to eight people to race. It's yeah. free to download. Know, You're I'm, okay. I'm saying, it's, like I'm, it's free if you have a PlayStation yeah, uh, 4 com, or 5. Calm it down. Um, I didn't realize I was over yeah, there. Yeah, you're kind of freaking out over there. I can see the sweat coming off. I see the, the oh, anime I'm sweat sorry. ball. <laughs> That has not been a thing in like a decade. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but we did come up with something. Remember when we did the race across Red Dead on our horses? Yes. Yes. So we came up with a no. new one. We want to run, run this by you. So we all start somewhere. No horses. We have to get to the destination on our own. Either stealing a horse or stealing a wagon or taking a train. Whatever, you, However you get there. As long as it's not your horse or your cart or fast travel and friendly fire is on <laughs> it's, like, mm. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be terrible so so it's literally just rat race but we're on foot yes and- <laughs> yes <laughs> hey, we can th- kill each other yeah I thought it could be something to do for a good 20 minutes <laughs> I just figured that out take us that long <laughs> to get across the, the map <laughs> I'm for it that sounds like fun but we won't do it until you're there so when you are done with your love affair with Elder Scrolls, which, Elden which at this Ring. at this point looks oh, like it's going to take about a month. Look, I don't at, know. At this rate, Look, okay, he's, you're he's, having he, fun. That's all I care about. Yeah, you're oh, enjoying it. it. We're, you play that game. We're lucky he took a break for two hours tonight. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> okay. Clo- very close to not even being here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like okay. he's <laughs> his eye is wandering. He's it's on. It's okay. <laughs> he might be playing. How, cl- while how we're close? Playing. How close are you to that game right now? Well, I mean, my, my PS5 is always right next to me when we're recording this thing. I don't know, he I don't sleeps know with it, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what your setup is. Like, it's gotten to the point where, yeah, you know, I put 48 hours into it already. I have it also installed on my PS4 Pro in my room, but separate files, obviously, because the PS4 and PS5, whatever. And I'm waiting. I'm, I'm just waiting, biding my time until my Steam Deck comes in, because I'm also going to buy it a, a second time on Steam so I can play it on the Steam Deck, just... Dang. I, I'm already coming up with different builds in my brain, like ready to go for the next time. That's fine. Can you can you summarize the game in less than five minutes? Ooh, it is five open minutes? world Dark Souls, written by Game of Thrones. Written by yeah. J. <laughs> yeah. I've been written by George a lot Railroad of people Martin. Say that. I didn't even no, know. I didn't he, realize he, it was. He worked on the story. He wrote the story yeah. for Elden yeah. Ring, yeah. and the lore is so goddamn deep. Like, yeah, there's so much lore in the game. It's a, it's amazing. So is this what he's right been on. doing instead of finishing that last Game of Thrones book yes. before he dies? Yep, <laughs> yep, one hundred percent. This is what he's been working on. Think he's gonna do it. What's that? Like, why? Why do? Why does anyone think he's gonna do it? He's not. He's never. He's not gonna finish it. He's, he's g- never gonna do it. He's just gonna hand it over to Brandon Sanderson, and he'll get it done in like two months. <laughs> And it'll be better than the it, last one. It, it'll be like, oh my god, he should have writ- written this whole thing. <laughs> oh no. Listen, there's no money in that book anymore. It's true. The show is out. Everyone's over it. There's no hype. Oh. Yeah. I still have That's probably also it. why he, like, like, he's like, fuck it, I'm not even that. <laughs> yeah, like, as, as much as people don't like the last season, the story is more or less told. He could go back and tell his version of it, but... The, the 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 amount of people that care is not profit profitable. Yeah, that's true. And and it and it won't live up to the expectations. I'm taking shots like, at fucking George R. R. Martin. But, but I think, but I also think at at this I'm point, real. Yeah, I also think at at this point in time, uh, demand for the book is so low yeah. that now is yeah. the perfect time to put it out to not do it. No, no, no. Like, just, you gotta, just quietly you gotta, announce I'm not doing it. <laughs> Or just give it to Brandon Sanderson. Like, I swear, just give it to him. He will complete that. 
Who is this person you keep saying? Brandon Sanders. Okay, well, one, my favorite fantasy author. Two, he's a, an extremely prolific uh, oh, okay. uh, fantasy author. Um, you ever heard of The Wheel of Time by Robert Jordan? Mm-hmm. Yes. I, I yes, watched Brandon, the show. Yes, before uh, Robert Jordan died, before he could finish that that series. Oh, okay. Be, before he died, he gave all of his notes to Brandon Sanderson, and Brandon Sanderson finished the final book. Oh, right on. And apparently, it got very, very good reviews considering the series. Did you watch the show? Not yet. No, it's, <laughs> it's just too many things. It's good. I liked it. Yeah, it is good. Yeah, yeah. it had some good uh, moments and some like, oh, okay, you did the basic fantasy bullshit, but that was fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, real time started like twenty years yeah, ago. Yeah, didn't it start in like in like the eighties or something? I don't know. I I know it's an old as fuck series. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because I, I, I want to say um, the final book came out like in the early aughts. Oh wow. Oh, okay, then yeah, then twenty twenty years before that, then. Yeah, I'd have to, I'd have to actually look it up. Unless Steph, do you already, do you already have it up? I checked out really quick. No. I'm so sorry. She's 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 looking at otter pictures. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> we, we were talking about fantasy shit, and, and and her brain just turned off. That's yeah. true. No. She does not like fantasy no. stuff. <laughs> she does hey, not care. That's not true. Be, be, about us. Be ready for the 125 part. Uh, uh, co-op Thursday when Steph and I play Elden Ring co-op. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a parent like the three year saga. There was a part where yeah, there was a part where Jordan was like, "Oh my god, we have to play this." There's a part he got to one part and was just like, "We have to play this," and I was like, "Okay, just wait, I'll get there." Uh, so I, I take it back. Brandon Sanderson helped finished the final three books in the series. Yeah, I thought it was more than one. Yeah, it was the final three books. Yeah, good for uh, him. And the, f- Honestly, and the first one came out in 1990, looks like. This is still Game yeah. of Thrones? Yeah. No, th- oh, this no, is no, we've moved on. on. Oh. Yeah. It's, it's, it's adjacent to the Game of Thrones discussion. Mm, okay. uh, basically, I'm saying that George Railroad Martin should just give all of his notes and stuff and give it to uh, uh, to Brandon Sanderson and have him finish Game of Thrones. Cause I don't think that works as long as Martin's alive. Eh. So just, like, keep it off to the side. Yeah. Fine. He never announces technically he's not going to do it, but he knows he's not going to do it. He'll continue to go around and do his other bullshit, and then when he dies, in his will, all notes are uh, given to Brandon Sanderson, who, like... I'm sure we'll be alive still. Yeah, he's like fifty something. Like, like George R. R. Martin. Not, nothing against uh, the 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 man, but he does not look healthy. No. Did he ever? No. <laughs> no, probably no, not. Yeah. The the nuttiest thing um, about <gasps> Martin that I've I've learned that that blows me away is he used to fuck at conventions. Like he would pull. Uh, many women at conventions back in the day. Yeah. Wiener, 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 <laughs> wiener. Yeah. Oh, no. Thank you for that. Oh, man. Are we going to get famous from that bot? <laughs> no. Not anymore. I Damn. banned him. Jo- <laughs> Damn it, Jordan. Them. This could have been my shot. <laughs> Just let me let them know all the information they need to know from me. <laughs> yeah, my one I don't shot, know mom spaghetti. It could be me. Card. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if we can trust Parzival uh, TV. He thinks he thinks he's the main character of Ready Player One, but he spelled the name wrong. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Also, here Ready Player Two is not that good. I've heard nothing but bad pe- things from people who've read it in the store. Mm. Yeah. I saw Ready Player One. I know Ready Player Two is not going to be good. <laughs> to be fair. To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> the uh, uh, the book is very very much better than than the movie. I I like the movie. The movie the movie's fine. Yeah. The book is better, but sure. Yeah. I tried reading it and I was like, "This is boring. This is I, not the movie." I think <laughs> I listened to an audio book of it and then read by up, Will Wheaton. Yeah, and then ended definitely up just, not reading that. So. Ended up just watching the movie. Yeah. 
I thought about it recently yeah, you, too. Weren't you the one who, Jordan? Weren't you the one who pointed it out? Where like they literally show a part in the trailer that like basically tells what happens. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a normal trailer. Yeah. Oh, you know what? That's true. I mean, for for the most part, you know if a movie's not going to be great if they show you the climax <laughs> in the trailer. Unless, unless they pull, True. unless they pull some Marvel stuff and show you fake climax uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> shots, I do like that they do that. I do too. Oh yeah, because in, in the age that we are now, where people dissect trailers, more of this fake trailer shit. Yeah, I want more of it Beck, because, like, it, Beck, fuck you know people. who Corey Doctorow is? You don't? Do you know who Corey Doctorow is? Because I really loved Little Brother. <laughs> if it's the same person I'm thinking of, I know I him. Personally, what? <laughs> uh, yes, Anthony, League of Addictions Conversations podcast. Uh, yes, uh, Anthony, uh, avid non reader. What? <laughs> yeah, who's a doctor? Oh, so, yeah, uh, this is Corey. You know, Corey Doctor? <laughs> uh, yeah, he's one of my customers. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <Yeah>. Holy shit. <laughs> Didn't know he was famous, apparently. Honestly, I didn't really care. He, he just, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, but I, I I know him as a customer. Keep that in mind. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so Leland hates him. Hates a strong word. <laughs> but it ain't not true. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, He's fine. He's fine. Care, but that's fine. <laughs> I don't know him that well. He only comes in occasionally, buys his one book, and then he, I don't know, he wears... He wears a jumpsuit all the time, and that really bugs me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, yeah, he. He's, I didn't know he's, he's he was a writer. writer. He's a, yeah, I just know he's a filmmaker like a because he has posters up at another store locally. He's local. Yeah. He lives locally because he he just he I think he walks when he comes in. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. No, he's always very nice. Yeah. I just I just don't I don't know who he is because I'm on the yeah. receiving end of his. Creativity. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. I'm having um, connection is Jeff, issues. Is Jeff frozen for? She is. Okay. I'm having connection issues. All right. Row, row. Like we you can still hear just you. Just to though. let you know, you guys are going Ooh. in and out. Oh boy. Oh. No, there she go. I'm. I'm. I have my finger on the button in case she drops. <laughs> uh, you set up your um, Gato thing. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, right on. I, 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 Just a quick, quick, easy button to switch between. Oh yeah. Plus, yes. I, I, I also, I also have a button specifically to, <laughs> to boo somebody. Uh, you made it. No, thank, thank Cornbread for oh, that. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I was gonna say it's got to be one of those two, right? Yeah. Like, bless, <laughs> bless Cornbread. She, she just recorded her her voice like. Uh, a couple times and layered on top of each other. <laughs> it's, it's so good. It's so good. Uh, we, of we course she did. That, right? You will not be able to hear it. The stream will be able to hear it. Uh, fair enough. Yeah. All right. Anthony, All right. show everybody yeah. Show everybody your Christmas gift. You don't. You can just tell them. You don't have to show it. It's fine. You, okay. you said show. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, look, like, if he has to, it's, it's look, he has to me. walk up those palatial steps to go to the many, many it's, rooms yeah. that he has in his house. It's in the it's West like, Wing. The time, it's the, the ship is too long. By the time he gets here, the movie will be over. It's just easier it, for him to just do this. <laughs> it's okay. I I already killed the boss at the top of those stairs in Elden Ring. You're good. Ooh, true. Yes. Oh, good. It's safe. Uh, yeah, uh, I got a package this past <laughs> Saturday. <laughs> Go on. All right. Are you sure? Or you, you don't want to. You don't want to add to that. It was just it was such such like boom. <laughs> like this is all I need to do in his unearned confidence. Huh. <laughs> so uh, I got a delivery on Saturday. <laughs> And yeah, I didn't tell you it was coming, did I? I just ooh. Yeah, I was not expecting anything, so I'm like, oh, weird. Um, no one expects a package cause, coming. Yeah, because it's clearly not Amazon, because it wasn't in an Amazon box. So I'm like, huh, this must be misdelivered. I mean, uh, I, I, have a, I put my neighbor. return address on it. Like, this is before I even got to the oh, box. Okay. <laughs> I opened the door and I saw a box. I'm like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> I had just gotten a delivery for another address the day before, so I'm like... Oh, 
Mailman fucking up again. I'm gonna have to walk this around the block. Motherfucking mailman gave it wrong street. Wow. Gave me a yeah, not even on the right fucking no, street. That, that is means fucking up. That's your package. <laughs> no. They were they were literally literally around the corner. The numbers were the same, the street was wrong. Yeah. Anyway, so I pick it up and uh, I see it's for me. I see it's from Leland and my and I'm trying to think like did we talk about something? Is is there and and I don't want to text him and ask cuz if I do that, Leland will be like, "What the fuck, dude? We talked about this." <laughs> <laughs> Make me out to be a monster. <laughs> I'm just telling it how it is. So, uh, while I'm in my car, because I was leaving to do something, I forget. Um, at a stoplight, I got my knife. I'm like, okay, okay. Uh, and inside is the Elvira Ch 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 Chia. <laughs> That I absolutely will attempt to grow uh, and see if I can make that happen. I'm not good at growing anything, and um, <laughs> He's my house shower. is, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, all show, no grow. Uh, and I don't get a lot of light in the house, so I got to figure something Put out. Put it like, outside where... on your stoop. I don't want anything bad to happen. I got a joke. On the back stoop. Take your shirt off. What? Nine. It was a joke. Like it would bl what? like it would be so much light that it would let the plant grow. It was a joke. It was a terrible. Oh, joke. oh use myself gotcha. as a reflection. Yeah. Gotcha. I'm not good at this. Uh, got it. <laughs> I'll just shut up. <laughs> no, Steph, keep doing your writing content. Um, yeah, no, I don't want to. I don't want to put it outside because I don't want anything bad to happen to it. Because I assume, like, I've never had a Chia before. I've always wanted to have a Chia pet, but I've never, I've never had one. So I don't really know I thought, how it works. Like, will it stop growing? I thought it's not supposed to be indirect light well, anyways. Um, I... Th People put them yes. by the window. Like, just by the windowsill. But then I gotta, but then I gotta, like, open a window. No, you, they like, don't need fresh air. <laughs> No, I mean like open the blinds to a window. Oh, well. oh, okay, that makes sense. Never mind. Yeah. Get get, get um, a UV light and just. <laughs> all right, well, you know what? Just put just it up as, as a as a weird a brown statue. Then. No, <laughs> so. I gotta grow it. I gotta grow it. So wait, what what uh what exactly grows on the Elvira chia pet? I, uh, her boobs. Fuck if I know. Oh man, that'd be cool. No, it's it's her hair. Her hair grows up. Oh. Like Marge Simpson. Oh, that's what you were asking. Yeah, Marge Simpson. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the the hair grows. It's um like the entire top of a, of her head and like down her shoulders a little yeah. bit. Yeah, I think so. I've always um, wanted a chia pet. So no one here has had a chia. I've, pet? I had, had one. one. Um, I did a um, I, I did a uh, uh, a Blanche Devereaux Golden Girls chia pet a nice. couple years ago. <laughs> nice. On I've seen the Bob brand. Ross one, and I thought that one was cute. <laughs> this is here. I've, I enjoy these novelty ones. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I, I completely forget what the original chia, chia pet is supposed to I mean, be. It was just a, like a face. Yeah, like, I think a, it like, was a, a, like a rock. No, it was some what? kind of animal. Yeah, there's animal like a sheep. I think was one oh, of them. Oh, Steph, I'm on looking. It. I, I'm looking. I'm I, looking. I know there's there's a chia like random dude. Like <laughs> yeah, that's what I think. I was thinking of just like the random guy. Yeah, I remember the face, but like originally it's some kind oh, of like just okay. quadruped. There's Chia uh, Pet Guy, hedgehog. which, <laughs> yeah, Chia Pet Guy just looked like a dude, just a dude. Then there was... Well, like Google oh, original Chia Pet. Yeah, um, it says there's a puppy. It's a pet. It's just like a little puppy, Chia Pet. Huh. No, that wasn't That it. wasn't it either? Let me see. No, Google Google original Chia Pet. Yeah, that's what I googled. Chia puppy. Is, <laughs> and it gave me is, all is, these options of different actual legit chia pets. Damn it, Google. You're not helping. I oh, think there's it was a, a Chucky sheep. one. There's a Chucky one oh, where Chucky's sounds... hair grows. Yeah, I think Scott and Beck might be right. I think it's a sheep. Oh, no. Beck said hedgehog, which also oh, tracks. Oh, that's like... super cute. It 
seems possible. I mean, that's that's the right kind of shape that you would do for such an animal. Yeah. Scott, a, a guy isn't a pet to you. <laughs> Wow, they're so <laughs> Scott's many. never had a gimp before. <laughs> oh, we've all been the there. Elvira one, that's really cute. Yeah, oh. yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it. I like that. Is chia the type of plant that grows? On I yes. think so. You use, oh, chia you seeds. use chia seeds. You could actually eat okay. them if you wanted to. I believe. Oh my <laughs> god! Dude, Steph's Do mind is any? blown. I can make anything a chia pet now. The world is my oyster. You, true. It's true. You really that do not true. need the the shape. They just happen to give you a vessel, but like yeah. you really could just do it on your own. Yeah. But it is 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 the pet itself not some kind of like special clay or something? No, it's just like a I mean, I think it's absorbent cuz you put water in it. So it's like yeah. a Yeah, well, it tells me I Yeah, can it's soak terracotta. It. Yeah, you I think I fought one of those in D&D. <laughs> they have so many options now. I do. Are you on chiapet.com? No, or? I'm scrolling Google. <laughs> like they have so many. They have um You, you should probably look at the the official website though. <laughs> like get some uh, weird photoshop ones. Chia oh, you walrus. know what? That like, might work. <laughs> chia might dick be. and balls where it just grows on the balls. <laughs> That is so a little around the top, just a, just a little. <laughs> <laughs> it grows up the yeah, shaft. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, Richard Simmons, Elvira, Pennywise, Bob Ross, RuPaul, David Hasselhoff, Weird Al, uh, Willie Nelson. Uh, okay, they have oh, okay. them for uh, so many people yeah. at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's a, there's a I, lot. The the one cute ones that I like too is they actually um so like they'll have the main like they'll have the character's actual face, but like. The the chia seeds will grow like uh, as the clothes they're wearing, so I guess like there's a little um, what do you call it? There's a little what was I don't uh, know. Name's Star DJ. Wars. In, What's that little thing's name uh, again? Grow. Just called Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. That's baby Yoda. the name. So it's uh, baby name's Yoda. DJ saying the first chia pet was a ram. Yeah, that tracks. That's Sheep ram. Sense. Yeah. Good job, names DJ. Thank you, DJ. Yeah, like I remember it was like because I think we would see them in like you know the the thrifties back in the the eighties. It was like or a big lot. The you know it just had four legs. It was just like oh yeah. yeah. Like all I can think of, honestly in my head, the shape is an armadillo, stubby legs, big like <laughs> so kind of cute. like almost turtle like body tracks, and like some kind of generic like head with little ears, like. It could be a pig. It could be a, a, a fucking armadillo. It could be like any generic animal that is just bulked up to uh, to grow. I guess. Um, all right, Leland. You said you you did it. What was your success rate? Um. <laughs> sorry, I I, okay, I, I know sorry. I know who names DJ is. They just text me, so I got excited. <laughs> is it Corey Doctorow? <laughs> It is. It's Corey Doctoros. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, it's Don's kids. DJ. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's DJ. You oh, didn't Dwayne know that. Johnson? <laughs> it's Dwayne well, Johnson. As soon yes. as you said you know who it is, the only person I know that you know named DJ is DJ. So fair enough. Fair enough. Through through logical deduction. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Um, what was the question? <laughs> Oh, uh, had, the, did the, you successfully the, grow the oh, chia? Um, yes, uh, 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 Blanche Devereaux successfully had hair, um, and then once the hair was grown, I left her outside to rot, and then, and then I had to scrub off the chia seeds, and then I just now we just have a statue of Blanche Devereaux's head outside in the balcony. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> um, yeah, I wish Corm and, and Revi were here for so this. So that's how that works. They they grow shit. It's the grooves in yeah, the sculpture do, yeah. itself <sighs> that hold the seeds in place. So there's grooves yes. around it. Correct. Okay. It's a groove thing. I'm reading the groove. instructions. Her head is plowed. That's why. It tells you what to do exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Soak it. Slather on the the uh, yeah. the the seeds. Yeah. Put it in the sun and watch it grow. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yes. Yes, Scott. Yeah, it's true. DJ is hey. his own person. I have it met him says... several times. <laughs> start, start calling Don DJ's dad. 
I will. You know what? <laughs> Next time we're like, wait, what's up, DJ's dad? He'll just look at me like, the fuck you say? <laughs> wait a minute. I'm first. Yes. <laughs> you know me first. Yeah, there's a reason he's a DJ. <laughs> uh, I, I, have a, I have a quick question, uh, really quick. It, is anything ever back... quick on this show? Yes, this is going to be quick, I, I promise. <laughs> I've never watched Vampire Hunter D, right? What? Um, is the character's name D? Yes. D okay. is nuts. Because there's, there's a character in Elden Ring named D, the Hunter of the Dead. Uh, or oh, the Hunter of, of is Death. It... It, does it kind of look like Vampire Hunter D? I don't know what Vampire Hunter D looks like. I never watched it. <laughs> I assume, like, maybe you were familiar with the visual of it. Do, do they have a giant-ass fucking hat? No, no. All right. Does it have a hand, a face in the hand? I, not that I've seen. <laughs> All right, well, then it's not him. <laughs> I, I just thought those was a... I was like, hey, his name is D, and he's, the, he's a hunter of death. Huh. That was fun. <laughs> I wonder if it's just um, like a weird reference. Could be. Probably. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty like, obvious. Yeah. It, it would be an insane coincidence. Yeah, this, the, the, um, the dude in the game does not look anything like Vampire Hunter D, but his name is D, okay. the, the Hunter of the Deaths, of, of Death, so. Got it. Uh, Beck, I don't know the three hunters before D. Um, he, <laughs> he's very mysterious about his past. It is I, it's, Vampire it's Hunter A. It, yeah, I was going to say, is it A, B, and C, right? It's, it's, it's very much like Wild West rules. They don't talk about their past. They're just the mysterious stranger who comes to town and solves everyone's problems with violence. Uh, that's called lazy writing. Uh, that's called every From Software game ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just Seven Samurai. Um, <laughs> so... Alright, so Leland, you only did it once. Because I'm also real curious, like, I'm I'm sorry if, if I'm going too far on this Chia pet, but I've never had one, always wanted one, and now I'm finally, like, well, about it, to do it's it. It's not a real pet, so you don't have to, like, feed what? it. You do have to water what? it, like, every couple days. Other than that... That's like, like feeding it. Kind of like feeding it. Can I pretend I'm feeding it when I do I it? I mean, if you would like to pretend... Like, drink up, Elvira! Num, 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 yeah, num, put, num, like, num. some water in a spoon and just be like, here you go. Yeah. Here comes I will the safely train. say though, you do have to put it like I. I don't know if they give it to you or if you have like a little like something you can put her in. Um. So when you water her, no. the water doesn't leak out. Yeah. Like, like a little yeah, dish. Yeah, I could put her in a Tupperware. Yeah, like a petri dish. She <laughs> do you, deserves do you, more. Do you than not have that. petri dish? Fine, I just, fine. Anthony, get a black petri dish. Make it all yes. goth and fuck. I don't know. Like, yeah, just, like a black, it, just get a black plate. That'd be perfect. Excuse me, no, boy. Those I are put, my good plates. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'll get you a black plate of some sort. It'll be nice. Oh, you know, I have a plastic one that I could, I, I, I would get rid of. Oh, yeah. Um, Got two big pumpkins. <laughs> I just want to know how long does it last? I read like, instructions. Um, can two I, to four can weeks, I keep it evergreen? But. I'm sure it keeps growing. Oh, really? You oh, can yeah. keep I mean, growing you can, just buy well, it, No, it takes... I feel like at week three, just start eating it. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> Get some fiber in your diet. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, Scott is changing the, 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 the topic, calling out Leland's haircut, uh, which we all should compliment him on because it looks good no, uh, apparently it looks racist <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look racist it looks similar to it, a racist person's it's, haircut it's just on that Peacemaker. racist wear their hair like that sometimes that's fine oh, no. sometimes they're bald sometimes listen, they have good haircuts you know i'll just listen, i'll just do is this it sort of hitler youth maybe yours is more than mine <laughs> <laughs> he's just been in it longer that's all <laughs> um well, now I'm like all. Uh, no, Leland, your your haircut looks good. <laughs> yeah, it does. Uh, and if it if it was more just on the top of your head, then well, we had a discussion say... today, me and Brandon, my guy. We we, uh -huh. we were having because I wanted to go real up. I wanted to shave a lot more up off the top, like mine. Uh, yeah, right. but I didn't realize that's what I'd be doing until now. I look at it. Um, um, I but, want my hair to look like my best friend Anthony. Yeah, that's not what I mean. <laughs> okay. I was like, can you make it look like my Red Dead character? Um, <laughs> but which one? Which one would be less embarrassing? 
Um, I think the human. Hmm. Like the real person. I want to. I want to look like my best friend, or I want to look like my video game character. Oh. Uh, anyway, um, he said if I went, to, I don't have an answer for you tonight. Um, if you, if you, he said if I went too high and then I cut less, I would look like I had a um, mushroom up here. And he said, no one need to look like a mushroom or a dickhead. And I was like, you are correct, sir. I do not want to look like either one of those. You are the master at this. Barber, do your thing. So then I just shut up for the next 40 minutes and he did his thing. You know, I, I feel yeah. like the best way we could find out if your haircut looks like Augie Smith, uh, Peacemaker's dad from the hit show Peacemaker on HBO Max. Uh, full full season's out now. Watch it today. Uh, <laughs> are we getting money for this? <laughs> It's Joe Max, we're not sponsored by. I don't know. Are you hoarding them. I don't know how I. I don't know how I just brought that all out at once. But yeah. anyway, uh, you should you should you should do the dance, and then we will then yeah. then we could judge it. You know, oh, okay, let's let, let's let's compare to the to the T one thousand. See what happens. So, okay, so I you know uh, we have that um, the little echo around the house and stuff. Yes, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. and I recently in the last. I don't know, say eight to six weeks, have been asking it to play um, hair metal quite often right now. And uh, before Peacemaker was a thing, Wigwam was not on that playlist. It is now on that playlist, which I think is very funny. Um, And I learned today that if you ask her to repeat it, she will repeat it. I only wanted to hear it once afterwards. I just like I'll hear it two times in a row um, until you tell her to stop. It's she on, will oh, just yeah, keep repeating it. Um, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Four times, song still awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but, but still slaps. But, but Leland, she, she just really wants to know if you really want to taste it. Yeah, she was just like, "Do you really want to taste it?" I was like, "Yes, I do. I, I don't want to. I want to hear it four more times. Like, because I really like that song." Steph, you should watch the Peacemaker show. Yeah, I haven't started that at all. I know. Uh, Did you watch the Suicide Squad? The movie? Both? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I watched both of them. Okay. No. Did you watch right the on. good one? <laughs> you don't have to think about it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I had to think. I know. Which I, one no, was no, the good no, one? No, I watched both of them, but... I don't know if I watched the second one completely, actually. I think I got... I think I... I don't remember. I think that's the problem. Did you get to the giant starfish? And the hot dog flavored water. Oh, fuck you. (laughs) You know what? I think I got as far as the shark and the beach. Which... That's, that's the, the beginning, beginning of the, the movie. the very beginning of the movie. I that's still, the first you know 15 what? minutes. I think I just realized it. They were watching it downstairs, and I was watching it, and I was like, oh, okay, I'll finish this upstairs, and then I totally forgot and never watched it. <laughs> so this whole time I was thinking I've already seen it all. I have not. I'm going to headbutt you. Fair. <laughs> Steph, know, it's still. a lot of fun. It's a good action flick. Oh, I'm sure flick. it's great. Everyone, yeah, I'll, I'll it everyone recommends okay. it. Steph, Idris Elba is in the movie. Why have you not watched it? I don't know. I really don't have an answer, but that makes more sense now that I probably saw it and just had it in my head like I've already watched the movie and then never I'm followed up you. again. I remember a piece of it. Steph, I'm going to headbutt you even though I know for certain I'm going to take more damage because you have a hey, giant head. shut up. <laughs> but, I can get hurt too. <laughs> I could get hurt too. <laughs> no, she won't. It's facts like facts. Really that big. Mine's only four fingers. The- Steph, you're you're the furthest away from your camera, and yet your head's the same size as all of us. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> you're so rude. Damn. He makes me look, fucking savage. He makes me question how big my head <laughs> is. Shit. Is my head a fucking balloon? Because I swear I've seen people with big heads, and I'm just like, is that how big my? head is? I know. You look in the mirror. I don't think my head's that big. <laughs> don't worry, Steph. Only one of us looks like a racer head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> 
Oh, Jordan, I'm so happy you were with me on that one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Leland, just put a beanie on. Covered, Next time I knew him. I thought it was fine. <laughs> I was talking about me. Um, <laughs> fuck, what were we talking about before Peacemaker? Uh, uh, how you, big Barry. my fucking head is, apparently. Yeah, something else. It's too hot. Your head is fine. Steph, your head Everyone is fine. Everyone in the bathroom says so. Yeah. It <laughs> it just it just runs in the family. Everyone in your family has a yeah. huge head. My head's not even that big. Uh, you, you keep doing this thing with your your like like this is some sort of telling. Like yeah, oh I, I could put four that fingers like, that's my forehead. Like, I don't, that's how you know you have a forehead, see? Your head <laughs> and is. then there's a five head. And I'm just like, like just, is my head that huge? I don't what part of my head is huge? Is like, it, do I have a big forehead or my all of it. the head? Do I look like a lollipop? Like, what does my head look like? I don't understand. Steph, when you when you trip and fall and your head hits the ground, the <laughs> earth shakes first. <laughs> You're so I, rude. You're so mean. You're so I've mean never, to Steph. I've never had anyone tell me I have a big head except Jordan. So now he, I'm just like, has everyone well, been lying That's how you know it's not true. <laughs> I've I've seen your family. I know you have a big head. You know what? One day, one day for Halloween, I'm just gonna wear a big giant head. But instead of like the emoji head, it's just gonna be my face, and I'll be like, "This is what I actually look like." Apparently. You know what? She's gonna come as a big head for Halloween now. I will. It's going to happen. We just gave her, her, her yeah. uh, a new Halloween costume. It's gonna she's going she's gonna to write, write this down in her phone like right now. She's going to show up as Pop Steph. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to make it so Steph, that. if you can pull no, that off. No, what I'm actually going to do amazing. is I'm just going to make my head. It's no, like I'm going to keep my head normal, but I'm going to somehow make my whole body disappear, but make my body look really tiny. So it's just going to be a little tiny figure with a giant head. <laughs> where, where, just get a green screen suit. I know. Yeah. I'm just going to cover that. Yeah, it's going to happen. Yeah. yeah I'm good. It's going to happen. Remember, remember when I was a floating head for Halloween? Yeah, I remember that. Same same concept. Yeah. I want to pull up the game. Okay. Yeah, go ahead pull up the game. Oh, man. <laughs> yes. You guys are so fun. <laughs> Can't with you. You're all my favorite. I've been what adding game? numbers. Oh, We're now you up have? to have 63. You? So um, oh, a number nice. between Four 1 and 63. Nine. One through sixty-three. It I, like, I, Beck, I don't, I, I don't know what show you're talking about. Nick Bobble show. Bobblehead stuff like that. Nick show. Yeah, I don't know what yeah. that Nick I don't show. Bobblehead. A Nickelodeon show. I, I haven't watched Nickelodeon in a very long time. Nick, 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 Nick. It's Nickelodeon. been a very long time. Oh, it's a random topic. That's what the command is. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's when we had a hundred things. I need, I need, nope. I need to change that. Keep doing it until we get to one under sixty-three. <laughs> yeah, I got this. I got this. Preferably in the thirties, according to Leland. Ah, I mean, the, I mean and nineteen. The sixties are good there too. It is. Oh, okay. Here we go. I feel <laughs> one of us is really going to be into this. Hmm. Do you believe in psychics? Yes. Yes, yes and I, do I don't want to do it. I'm afraid that they're going to tell me to do so they're going to tell me what I need to know and I'm going to try to if it's something bad, I'm going to try everything I can do to avoid that ever oh. happening, which is why I never want to go to one. Okay, so you're specifically talking about psychics that see the future. Is there more than one psychic? Are, are there psychics that see the past? Well, I mean, there's the psychics <laughs> yes. that, that just 
I mean, that's just all of us. <laughs> like, you know the whole. They're called memories. And I believe in you, so I guess I believe in psychics. The, whole... the psychics who like can hold an object and know its past. The whole psychic thing. Like a psychic okay. is pretty broad. It's so it is weird. pretty broad. Yeah. That's so, like, when it's a con. That's how you know it's a con because it's very yeah. broad. <laughs> so apparently they got apps where you could pay like seven bucks or something. Miss Cleo on an app now. And... The Miss Cleo app? I don't know how much information you actually me right now. have to provide them with, but they will send you a recording. Let Miss Cleo tell your future. Yeah. You tell them a broad thing about everything, and then they'll do your reading, and then they'll record a video and of And they'll give you a broad reading, thing back. Yeah. They, which is wild, because I've had some friends do it, just to try it. I, I was curious, but I didn't want to. But, like... Good. Some of them, Step. some of the stories yeah. were pretty interesting. Like some of them was just, one was like, hey, you know, like the problem is this person. And one of them was like, the problem is you. You're the problem. And I was just like, wow, that's interesting. Hey, Steph, I'm going to send you an episode of South Park that explains what dry reading is. <laughs> sure. Or just watch... Um... What was that fucking Guillermo movie that we were just uh, disappointed in? The Orphan. Nightmare Alley. Oh. Oh, <laughs> uh, it wasn't you, you don't like The Orphan? <laughs> was that a good. Guillermo movie? <laughs> yeah. I don't think that... I think he produced it. Oh, he did? He made it? Oh. Or he produced it? I thought we're... He's are, related. Aren't we talking about The Orphanage? Because if it's The Orphanage, he, that's he, he did The Orphanage. orphanage. Yeah. If it's orphanage. The Orphan... Yes, that's right. That's it's about the that one, little, the little, little girl. girl that they... Yeah. Yeah. Mm. The I was like, I don't think that was... Yeah, I don't think that was Guillermo. No, yeah, the orphanage. Ah, yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, you can watch yeah. Nightmare Alley, and they 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 can explain um, that whole premonition psychic. Oh, it wasn't good. Shit. I have that on my list. I've gone to one, and it was watch it once. It was weird. Like mm. how how so? Uh, like like I like I walked into her house, and it was just it was like this beautiful. Oh. It was like a, it was it was I already don't like this. I it was so weird, anymore. like. It was it was like this beautiful house with like antiques everywhere and this giant mirror like the biggest mirror I've ever seen in my life was in front of it up on the wall and there was no TV which I was just like mm, you know and like <laughs> and then is there a place of business yeah, I'm sorry you're right was the she TV's drinking in the other room. tea as she talked to you she probably was I don't remember but she <laughs> looked like like middle aged low rent walmart version of stevie nicks like she had like a shawl and stuff i mean i was into it i was like oh hey what's up stevie you know like she was all there and <laughs> She's like, hey. older stevie and she had candles lit and shit and we sat down on her on her sofa and she she asked like generic questions and i was like the whole time i was like bitch i ain't gonna tell you nothing i'm gonna see how long uh, you know and she held my sunglasses and she was like i can tell from your sunglasses I was like, yeah, whatever um in hindsight dry read probably bullshit she did say some things that did end up coming true, but I have justified those things in the life of like, yeah, but I could, I could have met anyone with that name. It's a, it's a common oh, name, you know what I mean? So you, like, you met a John? Yeah, it was shit like that. She was like, I see someone in the future with the initials of M. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know lots like of people, different of people. mics. Yeah, <laughs> true story. <laughs> I know when I bought this this little new mic. I came home and said, hey, Scott, I got my new mic. He goes, we don't need any more. You're not allowed to be friends with that person. <laughs> uh, I've told my story about when I went to a psychic, right? Probably. Oh, so you 253 both shows. It's, you know. <laughs> See, and I'm afraid, too. I'm curious as what they would say just so we could talk about it. But, like, I also don't want to. Steph. You know it's a con, right, though? I know. Well, th which is why I'm like, I'm curious to see what they would have to say. That's why so I was no like, harm. I would try it. Don't be afraid. No, but you lose money. That's the harm. Like, they see, have how much did you at, spend, like, The fair. I mean, I would do oh, one sure. at the fair because you're day. at the fair. $10. Yeah, the, and they're the fun. And the fair she's like, dressed like, like an old tiny gypsy, maybe? but she bought clearly at Spirit Halloween <laughs> store. Like, yeah, she's she's oh, being racially man, insensitive. Like, it's, it's all for fun. Yeah, she got a tambourine. It's just like Hunchback. It's great. It's like <laughs> no! Uh, she's, she's frozen again. Oh, oh, uh, 
Let's see what happens. That, that's a very good face for her. Not someone please screenshot that. <laughs> Not a good night. That was the longest no. My connection is so shitty right, right so now. I can't I, hear you. When guys. I was in Texas, I can't oh, hear you. Texas psychic? Were they also racist? Oh, Texas no. no. Uh, so my roommate. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, she's got to stop she's talking. <laughs> coming in in bursts. Um, I think it was for my roommate's birthday. She wanted oh. to uh, go to a, a psychic as part of like her birthday antics so we go and as soon as i walk through the door i knew with absolute positivity that this was bullshit and that's because when i walked in they were cleaning up a mess and they had explained to me that they had been broken into and my first thought was i should have seen that coming was this story a bit you should have seen that coming. No, no, we heard you. No, it's not a bit. That's exactly what happened. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. So then we, uh, my friend goes first. She gets hers. I get my uh, uh, like individual readings done. This motherfucker, uh, this dude, he's got like a desk, like with a full of all kinds of shit. He's like, you know, to prove himself, he's like. Uh, um, he had a bunch of like mail on his desk. He's like, go ahead, like touch one. I'm going to close my eyes, touch one. Uh, and I'll be able to know like which one of these many items, uh, you, you, you touch. I really and, could have pushed like, that I, button. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think, I think he guessed it, but, um, like long and short of it, I, for the, like the same, the same, kind of uh, not reasoning but from the same place that I don't really believe in ghosts I don't believe in psychics like those two things are related to me if I believed in one I'd believe in the other because psychics can I, sense ghosts yeah I like the concept <laughs> and Con. I like the idea that it could be true but I do I genuinely do not believe in either I think psychics exist but but you also think magicians are the devil? Uh, they are. They 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 have made a pact with the, with the devil. Clearly, that's how they do magic. Oh, uh, <laughs> I I recently re found uh I uh, I found my screenshots of our conversation when you were in Vegas. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna share those on Instagram again soon. That that man was account. a demon. Uh, <laughs> so I think psychics exist, but you know they're not real if they are trying to get money. Yeah, but so you think? But people who see the dead, they gotta, would, they gotta, they gotta pay rent too. You can't pay rent by seeing dead people. Sure, you can. No, you can't. Dude had a TV show all about it. Mm, nah, uh, it's a TV show. It was John Edwards? Was that his name? Yeah, yeah John, John Edwards. Edwards. I couldn't yeah. remember the name. Yeah, fuck that guy. Uh, he, he's the, he's the guy that they make fun of in South Park. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Well, okay, so you you guys mean to tell me you've never had a moment where you're just like, how the fuck did I know that? Or how the fuck did you know that? And there's, it just came to me. You guys never had a moment like that? Y yeah. I've had deja vu. Well, that's no, just no, a no, glitch no, in no, the matrix. Deja vu. Yeah, that's just a glitch in the matrix. No, that's but all like, that is. De deja vu is in like moments that I get the sense of deja vu and distinctly I remember the original vision coming from a dream. This has happened to me a few times. Psychic. Yes, Steph from LRC Podcast down in front. No, the, the same thing's happened to me, and I I know a lot, I know I've told a lot of people, or I know people have heard me say, like, I had a dream about this, and you're the person that was in mm -hmm. my dream. I never see the face sometimes. It's a faceless person. No, no, no person. Seth, Seth, it's not a dream. It's called a vision. So, <laughs> so I'm the, uh, I, so I'm Raven, uh, some Raven. Yes, you're Raven Simone. Yes. Uh, you're so Raven. You're you're so so I'm Raven that, Steph. So Steph. That <laughs> God. <laughs> no, I I think I think I think every person has a very extremely latent psychicness to them. Not something mm -hmm. that anyone could just. 
tap into whenever they feel like it because I don't think that is a real thing. Like, oh, yeah, I know you could walk through this, blah, blah, blah. But I do think that some people can actually, like, tap into stuff that like that. E- that like, there's another frequency like ESP. that we do not... I've had someone yeah, tell sure, me my yeah. aura was purple, and I looked at them and I said that was my favorite color. I don't know how they... Were you wearing purple? No, I wasn't. I was surprised. They said, you have a purple color to you, like a, like a purple aura around you. And I was like, I mean, that's cool. Purple's my favorite but, color. But what does that mean? I, I mean, know. right now I have, a, I have a green aura around my head. Like, <laughs> Does that, that mean lucky. I should be it's vegan? very soothing to oh, Leland. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, see, the, since my aura is green, uh, uh, like for most colorblind people, it looks brown, so you just know what color I am. Can you see green? Leland, is this true? I'm not debating this with you anymore. Because <laughs> you're just going to turn no. it into some sort of racist thing. No. <laughs> no, I was actually making reference to uh, Winston Bishop, which is a character from the hit show uh, New Girl, uh, played by Lamorne uh, Morris, who's a black guy. Uh, and he was colorblind. He couldn't see the color green. Green just came, uh, just looked brown to him. Okay. Um, that's, that, that's all I was referencing. <laughs> Love All right, I want to go back to what Jordan said though a minute, yeah, uh, a minute ago. So you do believe that there is, for lack of a better explanation, a frequency that exists but we cannot consciously tap into, but accidentally, yeah, more or less through. Okay, yeah. Um, I I like that concept a lot. Um, I I have mulled over um like. Uh, like stories and and concepts yeah. around similar similar kinds of things. I don't necessarily believe it, but Which I'm I'm the kind of, yeah I'm the kind of guy who like you can come come down tomorrow and show me the proof and I'll just buy it. Like okay, you're two and two is five now. Whatever yeah. you showed me the math. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm very open to to these concepts. Yeah, but I do need hard like, proof, just general proof. Yeah, 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 which which is always fair. I don't know. My, my, my mom used to tell me that her mom, my, my, my grandmother on my Mexican side was, uh, had the shin in. Yeah. Shit like that. Like, was she a bruja? Yeah. I, I, yeah sure. Bruja. I mean, she definitely was a witch, but I mean, like, but like she would, you know, she would do the egg she thing. Chicken bones. You know, rub the egg up and down on you. Oh, you know, crack yeah. it, see shit, you know, um, yeah. she, my mom That's would tell me that like, she she was like states away sleeping and then like my grandmother would come to her in her dreams and tell her to call home immediately and she would call home immediately and then something was wrong you know shit like that and that's why i hear this shit and i think of that and i just kind of go i need you to stop talking like i just <laughs> you just leland's in denial I, 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 I think i'm more upset that i didn't get it <laughs> <laughs> Leland's been waiting for his superpower to kick yeah, in. Like, I, I, I think we all have. Like, I want to be a mutant. I, <laughs> like, well, but like point, a good mutant. mutant. I want to look human. I don't want to be one of those like Morlocky mutants that are gross. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't want to necessarily go like full Morlock, but I'd be fine if my mutant power came with like a physical like aberration. Sure, but I don't I don't want to cool. be like I don't want to live in the sewers with Calypso, you know, like yeah. So. You don't want to be Muck Man. No. <laughs> no. Calypso was fine. I never understood why she like was like, oh, we Morlocks must live under the under the city in the tunnels. Because she had issues. <laughs> yeah. She had one eye and a Warlock. scar. <laughs> yeah, she's a <laughs> Calypso. Yeah, not Calypso. That's that's the yeah. that's a music and a drink yeah. that I can't find. So like, <laughs> and, and, and the main antagonist of the hit video game series Twisted Metal. <laughs> Weren't they trying to make a Twisted Metal show for a minute? They sure were. Wait, like a TV show? Yeah. Yeah, like a TV show. I think it's actually still happening, too. Like a live action? Yes. Yeah. Huh. Mind you, they tried to do live action Twisted Metal stuff in the previous Twisted Metal game, and it wasn't great. Yeah, I can't see that being interesting. Also, let me point out, I really do like Twisted Metal, especially Twisted Metal Black, but fuck David Jaffe. Let's continue. 
He's the creator of Twisted okay. Metal and God of War, but yeah. oh, fuck him. God of War. He he's not in control of it anymore. Okay. Corey Barlog is, and Corey is a much better person. All right, because in looking every forward, sense, looking forward to that new game. Yeah, yeah, no, Corey, Corey's awesome. Yeah, I think he, I believe he took over starting with God of War two, then I think he went back to Jaffe for three, and then Barlog did, of course, uh, God of War twenty eighteen. So, all awesome. the good God of Wars Corey Barlog worked on. <laughs> all right, I want to, ex- I want to explore this more. <clears throat> so I knew you Jordan. would say yes. that. <gasps> He got the shin in. <laughs> he's got he's got the sight. I can see then Steph you... being bored by a topic in the near future. No, mm. I've just been <laughs> quiet because I didn't know if my connection was gonna trip out again. So I've just been listening. It's fair. We also knew that. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan, then do you also believe in telekinesis? That is a harder sell. That is a much harder that that is something I actually have to See, because, like, I, I believe the whole psychic thing, uh, 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 just because I've had moments where it's just like, how the fuck did I know that? Mm-hmm. You know, stuff like that. I am the, ma- in fighting games, I'm the master of the of the psychic super. Like, like he's about to, you're about to do something right now? I'm just going to super you. I'm like, how'd you even know? I just knew, baby. I feel like you just have good <laughs> inklings about certain people, but then... I mean, you could just really be really, them. like, perceptive. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I am. <laughs> wasn't that the whole show? Uh, Psych. He just was really perceptive. Like he just paid yeah. attention to what was going on. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, that's a good. Show. That's a great show. But I mean, I know that you know that I'm not telling the truth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. So is is there like a vague conceptual reason why you think this could be true? This could be real because I want to believe, baby. Just like with ghosts, just, I want to believe. Just I don't want to meet a faith. ghost. I do not want to meet a ghost. But I believe they're real. Hear that, ghosts? Don't reveal yourself. To yes, him. please don't reveal yourself, ghosts. He he wants you. He wants to know you exist, but he doesn't want to see you or know you exist. Yeah, I want. I really wanted to watch that documentary, um, Sir No Face, because oh, yeah. apparently in that move in that documentary they have the first irrefutable proof of a ghost and i've heard nothing come from that movie that documentary i remember it came out (laughs) and then there was all these things about like oh it's gonna be out on this date and then and then nothing came of it yeah i haven't heard about it yeah this is this is like back in like 2013 or something i remember hearing about it through no face Mm. yeah there's there's a tweet that i saw uh, and again, like, I don't really believe in ghosts, but I read this tweet and it really like, yeah, you know what? That's some facts. I know you made a joke, but the shit's real. And it's that uh, to to paraphrase, if ghosts are made by like a traumatic uh, event yeah. of like their death or something. Yeah. There's a lot of white ghosts and not <laughs> a lot of black ghosts in America. And I thought about that. And I'm like, yeah, this is all bullshit. Yep, that's a that's a very fair point. But aren't they all white when you're dead? No, I mean like white people. Oh, oh like you oh, never yeah. see a black <laughs> ever. You're right. You know, I honestly in, in Ghost of a, of a story. Patrick Swayze was not black. It's true. Whoopi was black. Mm-hmm. But she was a psychic. Yeah, a fake one a that ended up being real. Yeah, twists. Yeah. Academy Award winning twist. <laughs> um, yeah, I would certainly hope in, in other places there'd be more stories about black ghosts, but like traditionally, I don't know of any like black ghost stories. Uh, the ones that I've yeah. heard in Old Town are not happy. The, the, yeah, the only, the only black ghost, I mean, ghost stories... stories are never supposed to be happy. Yeah, no, true. but like every, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> the, the, yeah. the only black ghost story I know of is Candyman, so. <laughs> And he's only good for at least part one. <laughs> Doesn't look that like Tony Todd, though. just streaming. The new Candyman just started streaming somewhere. Please so watch it so watch we can have a discussion. I want to watch it. I want to watch it. It's not for sure. great, but it's not terrible. That's what I heard. Yeah. yeah, it's fine. It does have a one 
really awesome kill though that I was like, ooh, yeah. you should be in a much better movie, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, right, so, so you do you believe in telekinetics? Is that what you were getting at? Oh, no, okay. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Like, if if you bring up the con the, the concept, um, like like I said, I am open to seeing it and, and getting being given the proof and believing. It. I'm not gonna fight it. Yeah. Because on a very wide, uneducated, conceptual basis. I know that everything is just energy. Everything is is, is is just different levels of, of vibrating atoms and electrical impulses and all that stuff. So if you break it down so simply, why couldn't you just use your energy to affect energy? We do that with machines. Yeah, true. So, like... On, on the again the most uneducated conceptual yeah. level why not well I mean that, that, that's how you have these Tibetan monks that do stuff with their chi you know like I'm gonna hold a bowl on my on my stomach somehow and just move around and that, it doesn't fall off some I, you know like there, there, there's yeah. like that sort of thing happening like yeah but I believe maybe, that though yeah no I believe that too I saw the video like yeah <laughs> like for some reason like car in, with his balls no, that's just that's he. No, he's just really strong, Steph. He has very strong balls. That was steel, possibly. Steph, Steph, are you, are you subscribed to my OnlyFans? No. <laughs> Spooky balls. And, and, it, and it's literally just like 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 a like a Hot Wheels car. And you're just slowly dragging. Yeah, no, I'm just dangling a Hot Wheels Batman uh, Batmobile. Just slowly, <laughs> slowly dragging on a table. Like, see, yeah. I'm moving the car. I swear. March 3rd, everybody. I'm really looking forward to watching that movie. The Batman, not your balls dragging slowly on the table, yeah, pushing see? the Batmobile. <laughs> there was a guy That's who right, moved the whole car one. with his testicles. No, no, Steph, I know exactly oh, okay, what you're so, talking okay. about. So you guys know what I'm talking uh, about. Wh- I've seen it several times. What? What about um, uh, spontaneous human combustion? Like no, that's real. No, right. for sure real. Like you totally. Oh yeah, yeah, yes, I totally believe that spontaneous human combustion is real. I mean, I've At gotten the same really hot, as, as so ghosts. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> like the same level of belief as ghosts in ESP. Yeah. Like okay, I I, I legit think that there's there's shit in this world that occurs that no one has any explanation for because. We don't have any way of actually like we don't have the science. We yet. don't have we don't have the science. We don't have the knowledge to tap into whatever it is out there. Like That's because the well, goddamn government won't let Mulder just do his thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, tr- it's true. It's the goddamn government. They're keeping it a secret, just like the aliens and the lizard men. <laughs> Mole I people feel like in New it, York, lizard people. I, I feel here. like <laughs> yeah. I feel like if there's actual like lizard men and all that, and the government knew, Trump would have told us. <laughs> I mean, we had remember remember in, remember during 2020, they found aliens, and it just was a news article that went away very quickly because no one cared. Well, we're just like, yeah, wait, really, what? Oh, we're oh, yep, they oh, released a lot of information. Australia's about, on fire. We're just gonna deal with this right now. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they released a lot of information about UFOs that had no explanation. Yeah. Like, they're like, there's a pandemic worldwide. Also, FYI, aliens are real. And yeah, they no, that, uh, they moved past <laughs> us. <laughs> it, yeah, it, 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 it was it was one step too far. No one could handle that. Yeah, <laughs> it's like look, that's in space. We don't got we don't got to worry about nah. it. <laughs> Everyone's brain together shut down that information. Like no, now is not the yeah, time. Yeah, twenty twenty three. That's when we'll deal with the yeah. alien problem. Yeah. we have bigger fish going on. <laughs> but I mean, also, of course, aliens are real. Like. Of yeah, course, aliens I, are real. Yeah, I believe. I that. do believe that. Yeah, yeah. Because I do believe that. Okay, well, what was the quote? Um, what, 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 the universe is too large. Yeah, yeah. That, the, the universe is too large. It'd be, it be wouldn't make any sense that we're the only ones. But yeah, there's a quote that's like, um, like what's worse, knowing that there's extraterrestrials out there, or that we're actually alone in the universe. Like, which yeah. one is a more terrifying thought? Honestly, if we're alone, that is terrifying to me. 
That's nuts. Yeah. 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 That's nuts uh, to to me. I mean, like, it doesn't Hobby all have to planet. be like. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't all have to be like uh, uh, advanced technologies like ours or like yeah. beyond ours. But like, there's not life in a billion star systems. Yeah. Come on. Like, I would like to believe that there is another <laughs> planet out there with <laughs> Puppicron Eight. <laughs> <laughs> Plan of the puppies. Yeah. Who, but uh, who cleans up? You know, it's a, it's a good question. Mm. I would like to believe that, yes, there's like, there's aliens out there that, not necessarily humanoid, maybe they're just, they have, you know, 14 legs, 25 assholes, uh, five eyes. Millipedes. Do they but have they, delicious they still, assholes like Daniel Radcliffe? We have to, we have to, we have to try it and find out. Uh, and <laughs> Oh, some yeah, human will. Right. <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> it's just a planet guys, of Radcliffe's. Guys, can confirm. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, the, but yeah, these weird looking animals look nothing like us, but then still have civilization, Daniel you know, Brad. their their version of it. Shut up. Yeah, some kind of culture. Yeah. Yeah. So that'd be dope. Krypton. And maybe, maybe, maybe aliens did come here. They saw us. They're like, "Oh no!" And oh, it just kept on going. No, and that's what I think really did happen. Like, I, I think they, they, they were like, they stopped by. They checked things. They, they come back like every couple years, and they're yeah. like, "Are they, they ready just drive yet?" By, roll oh the window man, down. they just nah. really can't seem they to just, get their shit together. They just see. Are they cool they yet? They base it no. off one person who like, yeah. <laughs> who like. <laughs> Speaks for everyone. They just, They're just like, yeah, no, fuck this. And then they leave. They all, they, yeah, they just abduct a random person, <laughs> talk to them for 10 minutes. No, the problem is, is they can only get one frequency and it zooms in on like Fox News. And they're just like, oh, you know. So. <laughs> Yeah, I, I like the idea that possible aliens have maybe visited, but yeah, yeah I, I don't buy into the whole they're here kind of shit. They're among us. Yeah. One of us is an imposter. Like, how many people do you have to abduct? Like, that it, it seems pretty redundant at a point. Like, you're not going to learn anything new. Or or maybe maybe they abduct people just to get the status update. They'd be like, all right, so is the world cool yet? <laughs> people are like, nah, there's a, there's a global pandemic. Uh, I don't believe in it. Uh, half the people I know don't believe it either. And then just like... Hmm, that's 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 great, uh, Philip DeMarco from Louisiana. I'm just gonna put you back down, and we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna head out. They should probably stop as, going to the south. As they're backing up into the probe, oh, yeah. <laughs> where they decide to go is over there. <laughs> yeah, they they always seem to stop in the south and just like, but but their, you their know, the world's large. <laughs> their technology can only take that's them specifically to one borough yeah. in Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and there's one spot they keep going. And yeah, fuck you, Phil DeMarco. Throughout, throughout the centuries, they only go to one place. Yeah. Don't look up the name Phil DeMarco. So I just made it up. I don't know if that's a real person. Oh, I'm that's sure it's a real person. person. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I had a wild hair stuck up my ass the other day, and I looked up one of my old roommates, and I found like a rabbit. Yes. Um, <laughs> I found out one of my old roommates who was. Um, very, 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 very dumb. Like, just <laughs> dumb. Like, mm. dumb, dumb, what dumb. What is Donald Those Hahn the doing these days? What'd you say? Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. It's, but, like, <laughs> and uh, I fairly I found that he's a district attorney. And I was like, <laughs> how did you get that job? Because you was stupid. Like, you, you was so upwards. dumb. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is what, like, he wanted to be an actor. And that was it. <laughs> God, now I, I have to look up the dumbest person in my class right now. <laughs> Nobody clicked God, that link that Scott just put. Oh, in the I chat. did. What, <laughs> what what's there? What oh, he's it? a forty year old drummer. Oh, he's oh, he's a right. versatile drummer. Oh, okay. It's doing good so far. Yeah. Is he is he an upstanding citizen? Uh he is uh he has brought Funky grooves and soulful drumming to the all sold out band. Um, he's white as fuck. <laughs> it's okay. You could be white and still have soul. Yeah, look at me. 
You all don't have to be fucking quiet at once. <laughs> <Assholes. laughs> I'm trying to look up a friend from high school. <laughs> oh, but I just thought it was really funny. Like I just I looked this guy up, and I was just like, "Oh, you're a district attorney? Like you were so stupid." Like, well, I, how, what's what, what's his what's his record at? <laughs> fair enough. Like, I'm like, how good are you as a district attorney? Because you are fucking dumb. Like, he's a DA. Oh, he's lost everything. <laughs> like, I would come home and he would be spaced out, high as fuck, sitting on the couch with like a half-eaten burrito, like on his chest. Just like district attorney, oh. huh? Oh man, that sounds like a lawyer I'd want to hang out with, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was it was wild. I can't remember how to spell my buddy's uh, last name, so I'll have to look it up later after finding him in a yearbook. <laughs> I want to know what happened to the dumbest person in my class. Yeah. I wonder who the dumbest person in my class was. If you can't think of it, it was you. <laughs> no, I, no I, got, I got straight A's. Uh, this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> no, my, my, my dumb dumb, I remember in... I forget if it was English or, or Shakespeare class. It was the same teacher. Mm. Um, but this dude, who was a friend and a good human being, but dumb, <laughs> broke broke both arms twice in the same school year. Well, how? Dumb. <laughs> you know what? He, he, sh- he showed up the first day with one cast, then went to the other... Then went back to the other, then went back to the other by the end of the year. You sure he just wasn't wearing casts? Just for the fun yeah. of it? No, because because I remember in English class, uh, he had brought a tub of Country Time lemonade oh, no. to eat. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. He just had like a little, like a Is that who spoon. you got it from? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Uh, and he would just, like, take a spoonful. And by midway, like, I knew he was doing this in the morning. And no. about, three, about about three periods later when we have a class together, um, it's just sitting in front of him. Top open, spoon hanging out of it. Oh and he, he, he goes to the teacher he and he's like, hey, I'm having, I'm having chest pain. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, like my chest hurts, and immediately I'm like, "It's because you're huffing Country Time lemonade, you dumb bastard." <laughs> you know this this story sounds all that like powder. This story is sounds in like your a, lungs now. This story sounds like a story that Steph told me about someone she knows currently. <laughs> Ooh. Which one was at this? her job? <laughs> oh, a dumb dumb. Okay, yeah, yes. <laughs> I had a dumb dumb in elementary that. Um, he really wanted to make a snake belt. A, sn- a snake belt. I don't like where this is going. So he grabbed the snake. Nope. No. Nope. No. Got bit. Good. And I remember they talked about it at school and told us to the snake never from? pick up a snake. Because our was this like our ele- my snake? elementary school that I grew up and went to was right next to a canyon and. Oh, he God. walked, saw the snake, and because he was a Boy Scout, decided he knew what to do. Not he a went, very good Boy Scout. As a Boy Scout, I like to say, they don't teach you to do that. And it bit him. <laughs> he was not prepared for that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've had a few. Actually, no. I've had a few dum-dums that over the years, I have just hear the stories that I'm just like, how? Steph. You don't Steph, say. Please, please, please tell us at least two more stories. Um, I mean, Steph, Steph, <laughs> as much as I love you, you are a shit magnet. Shit oh magnet. No, things, like things, things come to you. I, I am also happened. a shit magnet, Steph. Yeah. Be, you and me, the weirdest shit happens yeah, around us. I and just we just do it like. I what's told to me, and I'm just yeah. like, how? Like, in elementary school, too, someone. Shit bird magnet. There was a girl who got <laughs> hit by a car. Because she stopped in the middle of the street to tie her shoe. That's what happens. <laughs> dumb, yeah. dumb. That, that, that's close to what in front my of the friend school did. And still got hit. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, a friend of mine once, uh, he would ride his bike to school. This is in elementary school. 
Uh, but to cross the street, what he would like to do was right into the middle of the street, look at the car, and put his hand out, tell him to stop. And one day he got hit. <laughs> Oh, no. His bike got fucked up. He he jumped to his feet and he just ran home. <laughs> Somebody wasn't hearing that. Yeah. In high school, there was a dum dum who, I and I'm pretty sure I mentioned this on the podcast before, but I I legit saw in her face the realization when I told her that Starburst was not real fruit. Because she thought Starburst was real fruit, like real fruit juice. And I was Me, like, that's artificial flavoring. <laughs> and I looked at her and she goes, but it's fruit. And I was like, but it's candy. Were you hanging out like, with Jessica Simpson and you no. had to explain tuna the sea? <laughs> <laughs> I could not. Like, I literally God, showed her that? the wrapper Are and I was like, it's artificially no, flavored. I know the reference. It doesn't contain do. fruit juice. I'm about Steph. And she was just like, she, and then she looked at me and she's like, I've been eating this as my source of fruit. And I was like, Are you fucking <laughs> kidding me? Like, eight I don't know. I've been eating eight pieces. <laughs> I don't know why I have diabetes. <laughs> as I said, I don't. Steph, didn't you also have a friend that used to. Would dip strawberries in sugars just so it, they would taste better or something like that? Oh no, it was um, she this would eat Cheerios. canned peaches in heavy syrup and dip it in a bowl of sugar, and I was just like, Damn. "That is more sweet than you need. You shouldn't be doing that." At but all. it's fruit. It's healthy. No, it's not. <laughs> That's too much. And I'm saying like, that's that's I like me having blueberry pancakes too. last week, and I'm just like, well, I got my fruit in the day. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just like I don't know, like I I love sweets, but like I could I know when it's a lot, and I'll be like, oh yeah, no, it's too much. I can't have this. But like, well, yeah, you're in your thirties. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I could not. You're not vulnerable anymore. Yeah, <laughs> it's like. The superstar is worn it's off. It's kind of like with that candy, the the fun dip. That's not. Mm, yes. Yeah. That's just a candy stick dipped in candy. That's just sugar oh, you know what my favorite like, part oh, yeah. is? My favorite part is the stick. The, the yeah, stick is the actually stick the best part. I yeah, love yeah. the stick. I will oh, just yeah. eat the sticks. Yeah, I'll just eat the That'll stick. And I'll just dump the sugar in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've done that. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get the, the, the blue raspberry one because it changes colors. Oh, yeah, it makes your tongue blue green. <laughs> It's cool. <laughs> you wanna, you wanna right. park this this plane? Yeah, let's yeah. let's parallel park this motherfucker. Yep, psychics uh, are real. Oh yeah, there was oh. psychics are real according to Jordan. And this uh, podcast. I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying it's all possible, but I don't see. Believe it. He said it's possible. I have. It's possible, but I don't believe it. I don't. I don't think it, it exists yet, at least. Wait, Steph, you got something? Oh, no, I just remembered the other dumb, dumb story that I actually have a video of you, uh, on YouTube of that I go in depth of that story. But there was a dumb, dumb that I liked. And I told him I liked him. Oh, we've all liked dumb, dumb. No, I told him I like him. My specific words was, I like you. And he told me in Is complete confidence and 100% and, and, and sincerity, what's his last name? And I didn't know what to say. He thought you was his name. And I was like, no, I meant I like you. You did go to a fairly Asian school, though. I know, but like, I, I don't know <laughs> how else to explain that. Wait, 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 wait uh, Leland. Is that racist? <laughs> Is that racist? <laughs> Let me let me answer. Let me answer. Let me answer. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, it was. But also, Beck, you know that. Yep, to all the yep. himbo. He he was a himbo. Yes. Who's a himbo? What's a himbo? A, a guy bimbo. We don't know his last name, oh, Steph. Oh. I get it. <laughs> all right, tell us all the stories about the himbos and bimbos in your life that you have experienced throughout your lifetime find us on all the social medias we are on the instagram twitter and the facebook by searching league of ridiculous conversations or at l-o-r-c 
if you are on the Twitch and maybe missed out on the beginning of this podcast, you can go to all the podcast places and download it for your easy weekly streaming. We go live here on Tuesday and we are up on the podcast catchers on the following Monday. We knocked one off of the list of ridiculousness down to 62. Let's get that back up to 69. <laughs> nice. Email any ideas you've got for random topics such as this one we had tonight. You can find us at lorcpodcast at gmail.com. Jordan. Yes, sir. Will you ever be back on the streaming? Who knows? Because I'm playing a lot of Elden Ring off of Spice Hand. It's a lot of fun. I don't know if I can do this, guys. <laughs> You, you enjoy but you the game. can just enjoy it. But but you can find me on most social media platforms at Jordan is a bear and on twitch.tv slash Jordan is a bear every Friday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and Saturday and Sunday at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Last weekend, I didn't stream at all because I was just playing Elden Ring the entire time and it was so great and I really can't wait to go back to the game right now. Um, but uh, this Friday, I should be coming back. More Dark Souls 2. I still have a spicy hand. It's a lot of fun. You should come hang out. Um, uh, Saturdays, uh, usually for fighting games, probably going to be KOF 15 because I was going to do that last week, but I didn't stream last week. So, probably do KOF 15 uh, th- th- this coming Saturday, which is also a lot of fun. It's my first KOF game, and I'm really, really enjoying it. It is... An adjustment. Uh, like I have, to, I have to make a couple of adjustments because my, my brain still thinks in Street Fighter and Guilty Gear. So now I have to adjust to fit the KOF uh, uh, mechanics as well. Um, Sundays is usually reserved for whatever random thing I decide to play. So what's it going to be this week? I don't know. Tune in and find out. That's it for me. Steph, where can people find you on the internet? You can find me on Instagram and Twitter. And Twitch at Stephanoids. That's S T E P H U H N O I D S. I post stuff. That's about it. That was the most. That was the fastest, most efficient uh, uh, plug that she's Gotta ever done. Got to be quick. Yeah. Leland. I do art. Return. Leland Pierce art. I do art. Follow me at art. Art. <laughs> <laughs> that's. that's um, we're doing it fast tonight. <laughs> We are? Say, I do art. Leland, say art again. I do art. <laughs> What's his last name? <laughs> Steph. <laughs> art Steph. Art like Steph. <laughs> now, nah, you can follow me at Leland Pierce Art. I do art and shit. Um, I'm still having this really wild love affair with He-Man characters right now. Can't stop it. I don't know when it's going to end. I'm scraping the bottle in the barrel. I got to the Snake Men today. You know you're at the end when you get to the Snake Men. I was like, all right. So, yeah. But Anthony did bring up earlier. It's like, you done Tila yet? I was like, huh. Guess I could do some of the classics. Scott wants me to do them all. There are 80 characters. That's fine. It's not happening. Well, you had to have done 40 already. <laughs> but... And if you want to feel my ES penis, then find me at Spooky the 13th on Instagram and the Twitter. So until next week, I'm Anthony. I'm and in alphabetical order, we are disappointed. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm speechless. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.